like and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you. FBG Cash came onto the drill scene in 2012. At the time, he wasn't one of the top drill rappers. He worked hard for a whole decade to become one of the fans' favorite drill artists. In 2022, Cash became the face of the Flyboy Gang. He began picking up where FBG Duck left off. Unfortunately, FBG Cash was shot and killed on June 10, 2022. His murder remained unsolved. He is now considered a drill legend. This is his story. Tristan Hamilton, also known as FBG Cash, was born October 5, 1990 in Chicago, Illinois. His mother and father separated when he was still a toddler. Later, his mother met his stepfather, Manny, and had more children. The family then moved to 54th of Damon and later moved to the Woodlawn neighborhood. Cash has a lot of siblings on both his mother and father's side. The family gave him the nickname TJ, which is his first and middle name initials. Around the age 15, Cash jumped off the porch. He came from a gangster disciple family. According to FBG Cash, he was born GD. He learned a lot from his stepfather, Manny. Manny was allegedly a well-known hustler and gangster. Cash really looked up to Manny. According to Cash, Manny treated him like a biological son. In 2008, Cash began handing out in Parkway Gardens with a few friends. There he met people such as Odie Perry, E Dog, and even a young T. Roy. Parkway Gardens was where Cash sold his drugs and met females. This around the time he dated Chief Keefe's mother. The two allegedly talked on and off until Cash went to jail in 2009. FBG Cash began getting arrested. In 2009, he was arrested for armed robbery and sentenced to six years in prison. While he was serving time, a war began to take place out in the streets. His younger brothers, Melo and Gile, both began claiming STL, which was started by Dutchie and C. Ball. STL was basically the little brother of EBT. They began feuding with sets such as TYMB, 600, and Wick City. After the death of Tuka, STL became known and active in the neighborhood. They were now known as Tukaville. Cash was released from prison in 2011 after serving 31 months. He was placed on house arrest for months. While being on house arrest, his brothers helped him catch up to what was going on in the streets. He could no longer hang out in Parkway Gardens. Cash immediately began claiming STL. At the time, him and FBG Brick were the oldest members. When Cash was taken off house arrest, he immediately began running the streets. He became good friends with Dutchy, FBG Duck, FBG Brick, and Bostro. Him and a young Bostro began dealing drugs together. One time, Bostro even gave Cash one of his guns to do a robbery. Cash did whatever he could to make money. While other SDL members were focused on sliding on ops, Cash was focused on making money. He enjoyed hanging out with females and getting drunk. Many say that Cash was a funny individual who loved cracking jokes. Although he was a comedian, he still allegedly put in work for STL. According to insiders, Cash shot several people and even had at least one body. In 2012, drill music began taking off. After Chief Keefe signed a record deal with Interscope, the Flyboy Gang began taking rap serious. Yun, Dutchie, Duck, Billionaire Black, and King Lil J were all planning on taking over the Chicago rap scene. At the time, the FBG crew wasn't calling themselves drill rappers. They called their sound hit of music. FBG Cash was a better rapper than the rest of the group. Not only was he lyrical, Cash was very clever with the words. Manny was the group's manager. He invested in studio equipment and more. Manny wanted his son FBG Young to be the star of the group. Young would have been the next big thing in Chicago if he had released more solo music.
In October of that year, FBG Cash gets into it with King Von on social media. On November 8, 2012, Bostro was shot and killed. FBG Cash was heartbroken. Just days before Bostro was killed, him and Cash shared memories together on social media. Cash even gave Bostro the nickname Max Payne. Bostro was one of SDL's top hitters. FBG Cash became a leader of SDL and even went on several hits. Some called him sneaky and vicious. Unlike his ops, Cash didn't brag about sliding on social media. In 2013, he began feuding with Lil Jojo's older brother Swag De Niro and released a diss track by the name of Phone Call. That same year, Cash released his first mixtape, No More Free Cash. He was now going by Cash Auto 63. Manny was no longer Cash's manager. Cash was tired of playing the background and wanted to be the star. By 2015, he changed his name back to FBG Cash and was once again an official member of the Flyboy Gang. Cash stayed in and out of jail. In February of 2016, just weeks after releasing Drill Classic Rubber Bands, Cash was arrested for unlawful use of a firearm by felon and had to serve over a year at Vandalia Correctional Center. He was released in August of 2017. Cash immediately got back in the studio. The following month, he dropped First Day Out. More Drill fans became interested in FBG Cash. His fan base began growing. This was a dangerous time for FBG members to be outside. The Get Back Gang was running wild, sliding on anyone who claimed took a veal. Poppy, TB, Kobe, and FBG Brick were all allegedly killed by the Get Back Gang. In 2018, the Flyboy Gang had temporarily taken over the drill scene. FBG Duck, Wooski, Young, and Dutchie all began rapping banners back to back. That summer, Cash released Drill Classics, Run In Your House, and Flight. Yeah. <laughs> I was on some real goofy at T Manny. Look at T Manny. I like an old man, but it's alright. What's up, Rocky? My barber just walked out the door. He said, "Well, but damn, look at that muscle right there. I didn't even see that." <laughs> I bought, I bought a whiskey one of these t-shirts. I ain't wear my shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Part right out, put that gink on with the, uh, what these is, Fashion? Like, what number these is? Three. These threes. <laughs> I saw, uh, Double O last night. I'm like, you fat bitch. Oh, Tukey can't even fit his jumpsuit, folks. Huh, what's that? Huh? Merchant, man. Damn, 
pull y'all know how it go. Me and Fat Shotty, you know what I'm saying? I'ma just throw the pad, Fat Shotty, you gonna catch that shit from the crib. You don't make it ring, 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 ring. You know when I let them. Uh, I leave y'all fat fuck. Oh, my mom, that's a 60 ball, so if I. I know I was just looking a little popped on the skinny side, but I ain't bad. Mr. Magic City, blowing color pearl, I make it rain on your baby mama head. Fat Shotty, what, what happened soon as them people gave me a bar? Yeah, I about that soon as they left the whole letter there. I laughed out the dough on the head. Cash was on his way to becoming a star, but in February of 2019, he was arrested for threatening a Chicago police officer and had to serve time once again. While Cash was serving time, things began falling apart for the Flyboy gang. Wooski had just got shot in the head four months prior at Dooski the man's funeral. The Duck and Manny began bumping heads over money. Manny was being accused of beating Duck out of a lot of money. This is when FBG Duck separated himself from Manny and the family. Duck and Cash's friendship wasn't the same. FBG Cash's biological father also died while Cash was serving time in prison. All of this just made him more focused. He couldn't wait to be free so he could spend time with his wife and kids. Cash had planned to release music back to back and make a lot of money dealing pot. He had family and connections in Atlanta and was planning on moving there. On September 1st of that year, Cash's good friend 051 Melly was shot and killed in a house party. Melly was allegedly a stone-cold killer who claimed 05 won young money. FBG Cash really had a lot of love for Melly. Eight months after Melly was killed, Richie Jerk from Taekwon World was killed in retaliation. Richie Jerk is the younger brother of billionaire Black and was loved by DW in Jarl City. When Cash was released from prison in the summer of 2020, him and Duck hardly spoke. Cash didn't like the fact that his dad was be accused of stealing money. FBG Cash also turned his back on Taekwon World and sided with 051 Young Money. This caused a lot of tension in the neighborhood. Why my little brother just pull up with butter like he ain't gonna tell when he saw to the cops? Damn, and I almost forget <laughs> ops. They let me out on parole, I'm still gripping that pole on low, but I'm not. You better know if you want me to go, then you better go get you some more help. Cause you're too little to think you're gonna do how me do something to me by your mother self. <laughs> hey, I got a real thing. What you gonna do when you see the police and you got all them criminals with you? You better run and don't let them get you. The sneakiest niggas be writing your pictures, flicking it up. As soon as you lack, they hitting you up. RP Melly, you gotta be ready, don't know who to trust. Damn, think it will happen to us. <laughs> FBG Duck was now a huge target. After releasing Exposing Me Remix in 2019 and releasing Dead Bees in July of 2020, his ops wanted him dead immediately. FBG Cash and Young didn't want to get involved. They knew that O'Block and 600 were now stronger. Not only did they have more money, they had more young shooters as well. Around this time, most of SDL's hitters were dead or incarcerated. The gang no longer had tight Quan world around to do their dirty work. FBG Duck began only hanging out with close family members. I swear to God, I hate that shit, G. I'm looking at all these stunk of buckets, but they can't see me because I'm dipped behind a tinted window, but they can't see me. Yes, Thursday. You, you see yes, the thunk of on here? <laughs> wow. Yes, Thursday. Hey. I'm finna lay down. Fuck them thunk of call, call me, cop, but they try to bust up. Pop smoke me! <laughs> <laughs> but they trying to drop my top. Man, shit. Let them niggas. Hey, boy, I'm saying. Nah, you know, you, you know, you know what happened if they approach me. Like, blah, 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 bl
FBG Duck was shot and killed in the Gold Coast of Chicago. He was shot around 21 times in broad daylight. Cash and the family began reaching out to FBG Duck mother Lashina. Lashina was still upset about Manny beating Duck out of his contract money, so she didn't tell Manny and the family much. Days later, FBG Cash was being accused of backdooring Duck. BD folks, how you coming? You all good over there? For sure. My mama. Oh, oh God. I plan to so, Like I'm some rapper or some shit. Yeah, that's it. How you doing? Look at that. Look at that. She went to talk to the real one. Look, ding, oh, ding, ding. Oh, come on down. The price is right. Come on down. The price is right. Ding, ding, ding. Come on down. The price is right. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, sir. Cash and the family wasn't invited to FBG Duck's funeral. Young and Els both still attended the funeral. Cash was really heartbroken. He hid his pain by getting drunk and making music. FBG Cash began rapping videos back to back. By 2021, he was the new voice of the Flyboy Gang. Lashina continued attacking Manny on social media. She even allegedly had his house shot up. Things were really getting out of control. In February of 2021, Cash sent shots at Lashina and Big Clout Records in the song Masterpiece G Mix. FBG Cash became the leader of the Flyboy Gang. He made it clear that there's only four official FBG members, and that was him, Young, Dutchie, and Duck. Around this time, Cash was making a lot of illegal money. Him and Fat Shotty from Jaro City were hanging out every day. Fat Shotty was a laid-back hustler who had a huge heart. Him and FBG Cash were close. Although many of Jaro City members weren't seeing eye-to-eye -eye with SDL, Fat Shotty stood by the Flyboy Gang side. Many drill fans were disappointed in FBG. They didn't see Cash, Yun, or Dutchie go hard for Duck. People such as J.H. Ruga and Billionaire Black did what the drill fans expected FBG to do. ODF rappers began dissing FBG Duck and Wooski in songs. This had the Flyboy gang looking even weaker. FBG Cash began firing back with subliminal disses. It was hard for drill fans to take him seriously. After the death of King Vaughn, Mew Wop and Deek Yu both became stars in O Block. In the summer of 21, Money Duke became the face of O Block when he released Drill Classics 12M and winning. Money Duke is an original member of the Get Back Gang. That there alone give him major street cred. At the time, Money Duke was getting more attention than FBG. It was clear that O Block was winning the rap war. In October of 2021, five old block members were arrested and charged with the murder of FBG Duck. Cash was no longer being accused of backdooring his longtime friend. King Vaughn had allegedly put out a $100,000 hit on FBG Duck. Drill fans wanted Tilka Ville and the Flyboy Gang to strike back. Sneak dissing was no longer an option for the rap group. For years, Young, Dutchie, and Cash would only send light shots at O Block and 600 members. In the fans' eyes, FBG wasn't standing on business. The war was basically over. Many believed that O Block won the war when FBG Duck was killed. In that same month, Cash close friend Fat Shotty and G Skinny from Jaro City were both shot and killed outside of a family event. This put FBG Cash in an even darker place. For some reason, he didn't attend Fat Shotty's funeral. In December of that year, Cash released Letter to Duck and Fats. The song is a tribute to FBG Duck and Fat Shotty. Cash was now ready for a change. Young and Dutchie were no longer relevant. SDL members were being exposed by people from the neighborhood. That really made the gang look weak. EBT, 
Jaro City, and Taekwon World no longer had Tocqueville back. Even billionaire Black was on bad terms with the Flyboy Gang. Many believed that it was over for FBG. But in real life, y'all not. Y'all know y'all not. But I'm gonna let you know today and today the last day on jerk. I'm all a brother them, boy. Bitch ass, a lot of y'all niggas. Don't be calling my phone, ask me what I'm on with them niggas. If y'all with them, run around with them and know what they doing, y'all with them too. Straight like that and free bro them. Don't tackle them, my homie them get out. Y'all know who I'm with, bro. Y'all know what it is, bro. Lil Durk and O Block 600 rappers continued dissing a disabled Wooski and a deceased FBG Duck. In February of 2022, Cash fires back by taking a disrespectful picture in front of King Von's mural and releasing ODF Distract back again two times. In the song, Cash dis Lil Durk, Lil Verney, deceased O Block member She Raw, J Money, and OD Perry. He even dis Fallen 600 member Ide and Lil Durk's deceased brother D Fan. Drill music became exciting once again. FBG Cash and Money Duke instantly gets into it with each other. The two had been knowing each other for years. Cash claimed that he slept with Money Duke's girlfriend. Cash was known to be a ladies' man. Many say that females was Cash's weakness. In March of that year, Lil Durk released Computer Murderers, dissing both Wooski and FBG Cash. Cash quickly responded back with a diss song by the name of Computer Murderers also. The Flyboy Gang was back. That same month, FBG Cash and J.H.E. Ruger released Drill Classic Steppers Come. Cash was on his way to the top. On May 5th of that year, FBG Cash signed a record deal with MNRK Music Group. MNRK Music Group, formerly known as Koch Records, is an independent record label based in New York City. This was the break that the Flyboy game needed. All of the hard work started to pay off. Cash never stopped reaching out to Lashina. He wanted to make things right for Duck. Lashina made it clear that she don't have any problems with Cash or any of Manny's children. Her problem was with Manny and Manny only. This last. Okay, turn it down. Hold on. Turn it down. What you want, Cash? Too long, baby. I'm telling, man. Miss me. You're talking to me like that, but don't make me slap. Don't talk to me like that, won't you? Why you being weird to me? Nah, that's no ass being weird, period. You being yeah, weird. Okay. You know the internet rules. That ain't wrong with it. You sound a little bit too sexy talking to me. You ain't like me talk to that little girl. Man, I just said, I just said over a thousand, G. Nah, straight up, though, Cass. How, how you doing, baby? How everybody been doing, man? Uh, see, I ain't no shit. My friend come out for me. Call me later, all right? Yeah, I'm high, Alex. I'll talk to you later. Get on now before I get mad. Get on. <laughs> FBG Cash continued putting out music. He even made both Young and Dutchy relevant again. The Flyboy Game fan base began growing once again. For the first time in a long time, the group actually looked happy. Boy, play. Got my boy go to go. Got my main sniper. Right.
Around this time, FBG Cash was a huge target in Chicago. Weeks before getting killed, Cash was shot at on his way to his mother's house. He was riding with a female friend. A bullet even grazed him in the arm. Cash had just returned to Chicago that day. Close friends and family members warned Cash to be careful. They believed that the female he was with backdoored him, but Cash didn't listen. He joked around saying that the female's boyfriend was trying to kill her instead. Cash didn't think that he was the target. FBG Cash stayed in touch with the female who had allegedly set him up. According to Cash, the female wouldn't stop calling his phone. Cash believed that she really wanted to be with him. On June 9th, just weeks after getting shot at and grazed in the arm, FBG Cash went out with the same female. She picked Cash up in a rental car, and the two went out to a nightclub. After leaving the nightclub, FBG Cash took the female to a friend's house to sleep with her. At around 5.20 in the morning, Cash drives himself home in the female's rental car. The female claims that she was tired, so she climbed in the back seat to get some sleep. Minutes later, Cash stops at the stop sign on the 1600 block of West 81st Street, and a black four-door sedan cut him off. Three gun men allegedly hop out of the sedan and began firing shots. Cash exited the vehicle and returned fire. The shootout didn't last long. Cash was chased down and allegedly shot over 20 times. Even the female was shot in the arm and back. FBG Cash was transported to Advocate Christ Medical Center and pronounced dead shortly after. He was 31 years old. Cash leaves behind five kids. His death affected a lot of people. It was a major loss not only for the Flyboy gang but the family as well. Cash was very family oriented. He was close to all of his siblings. Although he wasn't the oldest, he was still the big brother. Many say that he was the life of the party. He kept everyone around him smiling and laughing. Cash was also a good cook. He enjoyed cooking for friends and family. Stop playing. Y'all know I'm a real chef. Look at this. Niggas just be tight because they don't got no house to cook in. <laughs> Look at that. Spinach up in that thing. Psst. Come on, man. Look. Sure, sure. I could have let it cool off a little more so that juice wouldn't be up in that, but still a hit, folks. Come on, folks. Y'all know. Y'all know I get real wild in this kitchen, man. Then it's good for you, P. Dot. Come on, man. Yeah, ask your mama about me. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, God damn. Damn, look at that shit. Got some chicken over here. Trying to flip that thing. You can believe whatever you want. I got your folks here. Uh huh. I can't take you. You drop it tonight, man. Say blood. I lied. Y'all ain't ready for that heat, man. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready. They ain't ready for that heat, bro. They ain't ready for that heat. Give them like another week or something. Y'all ready for that deluxe?
Young and Dutchie are the last two official FBG members left. For over a decade, Drill fans been following their story. We all wanted to see the crew win. In the eyes of Drill fans, the Flyboy Gang has some of the worst luck. Some people even believe that they're cursed. FBG Duck, Young, Dutchie, Wooski, and Cash were some of the talented rappers in Chicago. Over the years, they gave us many Drill classics. FBG Cash was more than a Drill rapper. He was an MC. He had the ability to make any kind of song. His style was slick and original. Too bad we didn't get a chance to see him make love songs and more deep songs like Letter to Duck and Fats. FBG Cash will surely be missed in the drill world. Bro, I'm GD, so that's where it start and that's where it stop, so like. Well, that was the FBG Cash story. Thank you all for watching. Be safe and blessed.